In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox Series S or X to your phone. So go onto your phone and make sure your Xbox is turned on. From here, we're going to go to the Xbox app. Now, if you've just downloaded this, you are going to have to sign in with the Hotmail that's assigned to your Xbox console. Now, once we're here, I want you to go to the Game Library button in the bottom right corner. Here, we're going to go to Consoles, you can see in the top. And now we're gonna go to the get started button. Looks like you haven't set up your console here yet, so let's get started. Now, we're going to be adding an existing console, so let's do that. Turn on remote features. So with this, we're going to be able to install new games remotely. We're going to be able to use Xbox Remote Play, and we're gonna be able to turn on and control the console. So let's go to next. Here is the account, and we're going to sign in with this. Now you'll see on the actual console itself, it'll say set up remote features, keep your mobile device nearby while we set up your console. So let's go through this process now and press A and let's go to test remote play. Uh, we're just gonna go with the bedroom Xbox. We only have one. Uh, here we go. Now let's go to test remote play. Let's see if this is going to work. We're gonna be testing the setup and this should only take a moment now. Let's give this a second here. Test remote play next. You could also do it on your phone as well. Um, so we're giving this a second. Enable remote play. We're gonna go to enable. And here we go. It's gonna be testing this again. And it looks like our internet isn't fast enough. So let me close this and show you what it says. Here it says the NAT types open. The upstream bandwidth is less than nine megabytes per second. I'm 25 down and 10 up, but I'm sure the upload speed isn't actually 10. So if your internet's fast enough, you will be able to use remote play among other things, but I can't because my internet's not that good. So let's go to next. Remote play works best on wired or five gigahertz wireless connection. So we're gonna go to close. So when it comes to remotely controlling your Xbox, I'll be able to do that among other things, but I won't be able to use remote play. So this is what it should look like if your phone was properly connected to your Xbox Series S or X. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.